going on everyone welcome back to the channel for another video we're just going to run to the gas station real quick uh it is basically near the end of the day and a little free time to basically i guess record a video and questions i got about this car uh no we haven't we've scheduled some stuff to get this stuff fixed i'll put it that way so i've scheduled um for somebody to go ahead and fix the starter in the car and the heater cord so that way we can kind of enjoy the car a little bit during the cold season. It won't be driven as much, but it'll be driven more than it already is now. Just the only time I really drive it, like I've said before, is to um, kind of just let it run, maybe make a video, and to go get gas in it so the pump will not start. And it really does need gas right on, uh, I, I didn't look at it last time, but it's definitely really right on E. So we're going to go get gas for this thing. This thing shifts. That's the one thing that I say in the last video and in previous videos, of course, I've talked about, you know, moving on from this car before, you know, what are the logistics to that and everything. There's one thing about this car with that, with the T56 and which obviously is probably the best shifter for this generation new car. Uh, yeah, so it's near this window a little bit. Anyways, the question I got was, um, what rear end is in the car and uh, basically uh, what parts or whatever. So I thought I'd make a quick little video about that. Um, it, the rear end is also a good a very good uh mod to like go ahead and reinforce and add to even if you're like up not at that power and you're going to eventually make power you know you're setting a blower setup or turbo setup you know some kind of force induction um even as just like an na mod i guess if you just plan on keeping the car in a gears and whatnot is definitely something uh you know, over, upper and lower control arms, um, stepping up the rear end, depending on what generation Mustang you have, and um, just anything with the rear end, man, it's, it's something you want to tackle right away, in my opinion, unless, you know, you don't really track your car, you don't really take it to the drag strip, it's not a street car, and maybe gears is all I'd really worry about, but if you're in my situation, you're in the situation of, you know, your coyote swap in your car or you've got an older new edge uh, slash box body slash all around that's a 9.5 and you have a bit in there or you bought the car and you don't know what the, you know what gears are even in there and you want to you know add some quicker time or get off the line quicker. gears is where i would start and i know i led up to that for now so I have 373 gears. Uh, I think 373 or I think it's like 373 then 410 are probably the most uh, used gears that everybody goes with and like maybe a 355 or 331 or something depending on your application but I usually see you know people recommend the 373s or the 410s the most. Yeah, anyways, uh, gears, uh, so what I basically did was had the whole rear end removed, had it taken to a shop, and had everything, I basically had, like, the Ford Racing 31, uh, spline LSD limited slip differential, I bought that, I bought all new, everything, like, new hardware, new gaskets, uh, bought new axles, axles is something else you want to upgrade, you know, you don't want to be in the track or something, or put down pretty good power and then break an axle, so... Uh, I went with a Moser 31 spline, um, and then I didn't know, I have the Moroso, like, extended rear studs, that's why I, back in the summertime we had the issue with the, uh, lug nuts, that's the only downside of that, I didn't know that they were kind of extended, so the factory ones wouldn't fit on it. So, we're gonna cut this video real quick, and I'm gonna get gas, and then I'll hop back. And we're back. This is actually the first time I didn't get a lot you know, somebody come up to me, I guess, or something. Not that, that I really mind that, but, you know, when you're at the gas station, people love to talk when you have a car or something, so. Anyway, so we had 
left off with axles. Um, and then the last thing I did was I had the upper and lower Team Z control arms added onto that. Replaced the upper axle bushings just with the uh, polyurethane because the factory ones were rubber and they were done. Um, I honestly recommend the polyurethane because you're going to feel everything. Um, I have the I have the, the joint ones or whatever, the heim joints, so you, they're still set. They allow you to like dial in the angle and stuff. And I probably didn't need that, but I got them for a really, really good price. The upper and lower is the reason I went ahead and just did that instead of having the one side that has the bushings or whatever, like the, uh, the UPRs or whatever. But they definitely help off the line. And I had to, the passenger side, from what I read, uh, I think even up to Fox Bodies or something, they're, they're notorious for ripping that, um, what do you call it, torque box out. So that one had to be re-welded. So I went ahead and picked up, I think it's just the UPR um, welded reinforced box where the person in the rear end welded both sides. Um, now fix that issue. It's it's more like security. It's not even expensive for the kit. It's like a hundred and some dollars. I think it's like $120 last time I saw it. But it's been a few years. I'm sure it's maybe 150 max. But it's definitely some reinsurance. You know, you don't want your happy ass and to do that or something you know break or something so that is definitely something i would do that is my setup uh everything from the gears i have 373s and then you just want a good tire um the tire i choose was probably the tire that everybody goes with the nitto triple t5s and i think it's a 295 out back with the the rovos wheels zero issue um but i also don't track my car that much or anything it's more of a, just a street car so you know rolling into a, a race in Mexico, you know, roll races or something. That's all I really see is it's, you know, it's just a pretty simple car. Um, yeah, this, this car really needed gas. Well, there you go, guys. I hope that answers the questions. It was just, you know, I'll, I'll get emails sometimes, and then it'll just kind of be the same question, maybe related to a topic video. I don't know. So hopefully that addresses anything uh, that you for those answers. And yeah, definitely invest in your uh, rear end, auto or manual, it doesn't matter. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate every single one of you stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for the future content and check out stuff for this uh, car and other stuff on the channel. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.